Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is part 11 of the Baby Educational Ball tutorial series. Uh, thank you, Patricia Heller, who designed this pattern for allowing me to uh, make a tutorial of how to make this project. Okay, so today's tutorial, we are going to be making the snail panel. So we need one of our finished panels, okay? We also need some yarn for the snail's body. I'm just going to use this off-white um, piece of yarn, um, scrap ball of yarn. Uh, I am using a number three weight yarn for my projects. You want to use the same uh, the same weight yarn throughout the whole, impro whole entire project um, and the same hook size as well. Okay, so for the yarn, like I said, we need this neutral color for the body, okay? And then I'm going to use these two colors uh, for my uh, snail's shell, okay? Because it's going to be like a spiral type design where we're going to alternate colors. And so I, I picked out these two um, colorful uh, Yarn, I think it's uh, Lion Brand Bonbons is where this yarn came from, and it's just what I've been had in my bag of uh, yarn that I had picked out for this project. Okay, uh, let's see what else. You're also going to need a very small amount of black just for to stitch on a couple of eyes uh, on the snail. Okay, uh, let's see, we're going to need a I'm going to use a three millimeter hook. Uh, just use whatever hook you've been using throughout this project. You want to stay with the same hook size. Uh, darning needle to sew on your piece onto the panel. You're also going to need a um, stitch marker, pair of scissors, and um, to finish it off, you're going to need a very small amount of a sew-on uh, Velcro closure to hold the shell closed um, but I am not going to be sh putting that on mine at this moment because I think what I'm going to do like I did with the carrot is I'm going to put the ball together and then once I stuff it and see how the panel stretch and where everything is pl uh, li uh, will lay flat you know on the piece and then I will uh, go ahead and attach the velcro pieces to my panel okay Okay, um, I think that is all as far as uh, material. You won't need any stuffing for this video. Um, okay, so getting started, pick one of the two yarns that you, you um, have gathered for your two colors for your shell. Pick one of them, whichever one you want for the very center, center of the spiral and make a magic ring. You can also um, Put a slip knot, you know, connect the yarn to your hook with a slip knot, chain two, and then work in the second chain from the hook if you prefer to do that instead of a magic ring. Okay, so into this magic ring or that second chain from the hook, if you're doing it that way, you want to make six single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four five and six now with the sixth one instead of completing that stitch all together okay i'm going to i inserted my hook yarned over pulled up a loop just like i'm doing my single crochet but instead of completing it with the uh the yarn this yarn that I'm using I'm going to join my next color now you can take the tail of your magic circle and then go ahead and start tightening that up a little bit to form that ring okay and then take your second color leave a pretty good sized tail okay um, that way it just won't slip through while you're working on it okay um, yarn over using that new color pull that through those two remaining loops of your uh, the single crochet you were creating okay pull on the first color to snug that down a little bit and that completes round one okay now going on to round two and you should have six stitches around that circle okay okay going on to round two we're going to just go right into the next stitch and we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around so here's one single crochet and two single crochets in that first stitch okay 
Then you want to take your stitch marker and you want to place your stitch marker into the first of those two stitches that you just made. Okay. Okay. Now going around your circle, you're going to do two stitches in two single crochets in each stitch all the way around remaining. So at the end, you'll have 12 single crochets. I'm going to finish mine and I will meet you at the end when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of my, almost back to the marker. I have one stitch left I need to work into, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to clean up the back a little bit because it's, to me, that's very confusing to have so many tails hanging back there. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my beginning tail of the green that I just added, and I'm going to take the tail after, uh, that I tightened up my magic circle with, okay, which was the very beginning tail not the working yarn but the one that's not connected to anything of my first color and I'm going to tie those two together in a knot so then I can trim them short and get them out of my way I think that'll be a lot easier for you to see um, what, what we're doing and it won't confuse me with all the tails in the back <laughs> so I'm going to just snip those two short make sure you're not snipping the wrong ends the working tails that you're working on but I think that'll help where it'll you can see what I'm doing a whole lot better. Okay, so now I have one more remaining stitch around on round one, so let's go ahead and complete that one. Uh, and, and remember, we're working two in each, two single crochets into each stitch around, so I've got to do, put two remaining single crochets into this last stitch. Okay, so there's one. And now going to my second one, I'm going to get ready to change back to the blue color. And so uh, you start it off just like regular, okay? You insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then instead of yarning over and pulling through those two loops to finish our single crochet, I'm going to drop my second color, this green, okay, back behind my back behind my work, and then I'm going to pick up the blue from the fur, from the beginning, okay, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the two loops to complete that last single crochet, and I've also completed a color change. Now you can take that green or the one that you just dropped, and you can tighten that up a little bit in the back. See, okay, so now we are ready to go on to round. Um, round three okay we have 12 stitches around our circle now so let's go ahead and take off our marker so we can reposition it going on to round three it says we're going to do oh and and at the end of each each round we're going to do a color change just like i just did okay because every other round it's going to be every round it's going to be alternating colors and so we're going to do that color change in our last stitch of the round just like i showed you like that okay okay so going on to round three it says we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that all the way around and so right now we have a stitch count of 12 when we get finished with this round we should have a stitch count of 18 okay so going on to the first stitch we're going to do two single crochets into that stitch one and two okay we're going to take our marker and put it into the first stitch of those two that we just made. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay? Now we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. Okay? So two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay? So repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker and do the color change to change back to the green. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm going, I'm, I'm almost back to the marker. I've got one stitch left remaining, so I'm gonna do that the same way I have been doing to make my color change, where I'm gonna start off with a regular single crochet, okay? Doing it the regular way. Have two loops on my hook, but now I'm gonna drop my first color and pick up my second color. Now you will have to arrange these because these colors are gonna get a little bit twisted. <laughs> so not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up my second color and complete that single crochet by pulling through those two loops on my hook. I'm gonna uh, pull, tug, or yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> 
and I'm going to tug on the blue color to just tighten up that stitch okay and now I have 18 stitches around my circle okay okay going on to round four we're going to continue on the same matter changing colors at the end of each round going on to round four we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in each of next two stitches so I'm going to take out my marker so I can reposition it I'm going to go right into the next stitch and I'm going to make two single crochets one and two okay and now I'm going to replace my stitch marker into the first stitch of the the two single crochets that we just made and now I'm going to go on so I did two single crochets in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around so it's going to be two single crochets in the first stitch one and two one single crochet in the next two stitches one in that one and then one in the next one okay repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you up when I get back to the marker okay I am back to the marker again I've got this partial single crochet here this is the last one and I'm getting ready to change colors again okay so dropping my uh, second color picking up my first the first color which is the blue I'm going to finish the single crochet in that last stitch for the on that round okay and then I'm going to pull on the color that I just dropped just to snug up the stitch okay now I have a stitch count of 24 stitches all the way around my circle okay going on to round five we're going to con to continue increasing and so I'm going to take out my marker going on to round five we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches okay so two single crochets in the first stitch one and two put my marker in the first stitch of the two that I just made now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches so one in the next one one in the next one and one in the next one okay so three of them and then continue this sequence all the way around two single crochets in the first stitch one and two one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three okay continue that sequence all the way around I'll meet you at the marker okay I'm back to the marker again I have one more stitch to complete so I'm going to do one single crochet into that stitch but I'm going to do a partial single crochet so then I can finish it with the next color because I'm changing colors okay picking up my next color just dropping the first color at the back I'm going to finish that single crochet which finishes that round I'm going to tug on the first color just to tighten up the stitch and now I have 30 stitches all the way around my circle okay going on to round six I'm going to take out my marker here so I can reposition it on to round six we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet each in the next four stitches so into the first stitch we're going to do two single crochets one and two and then in the first stitch I'm going to the first of those two stitches I just made I'm going to put my marker continuing on I'm going to do one single crochet each in the next four stitches so one two three and four okay and so we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around so two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet in the next four stitches we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around until we get back to the marker and I will meet you there okay so I'm coming back to the marker again I have one more stitch there to make before I get to the marker and we, as always we're going to be be doing a partial single crochet where we draw up the loop and have two loops on our hook like that and then we're going to change color back to the first color finish off that single crochet tighten down our color that we just dropped in the back okay and that ends round six and at the end of round six we should have 42 no I'm sorry at the end of round six we're gonna have 36 stitches all the way around our circle okay going on to round seven 
take out our marker and it says two single crochets in the first stitch one single crochet in the next five stitches okay so going to the first stitch we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch so one and two put our marker back into the first of those two stitches that we just made okay and now single crochet in one time in each of the next five stitches one two three four and five okay and now we're going to repeat that sequence two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five okay and then repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay so I've gotten back to the marker and I am just about to complete my last single crochet before that marker and this is where I'm going to do the color change just like I've been doing each round so I dropped my blue and now I'm going to pick up my green to finish my single crochet and, and do my color change so I'm going to tug on that color that I just uh, dropped in the back to uh, tighten it down the stitch tighten that stitch down and then so now we're at the end of round seven at the end of round seven you will have 42 stitches around your circle now okay going on to round eight we're going to take out our marker we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet each in the next six stitches and we're going to do that all the way around so Going into the first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets into that stitch, one and two. And then we're going to um, put our marker back into that first stitch of those two that we just made. And then going on, we're going to do one single crochet each in the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four five six okay and we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch one and two and then one single crochet each in the next six stitches and then we're going to repeat that all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay so I'm back I'm almost back to the marker I've got one stitch left so we're going to again do a partial single crochet so we can do a color change in that last stitch so drop a loop where you have two loops on your hook and then we're going to drop that first color pick up the I mean the green color and pick up your first color which was mine was the blue color and finish the single crochet okay now I'm going to tug on the color I dropped so that way I can tug down that stitch snug it up okay going on to the last round so we now have 48 stitches all the way around our circle we have one more round to go so we're going to do, which will be round nine, so we're going to take our marker out. We're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch, so one and two. Put your marker in the first of those two stitches that you just made. And now I'm going to do one single crochet each in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four five six seven okay and we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch one and two and then one single crochet each in the next seven stitches repeating that sequence around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay so I'm right at the end of round nine and now we're not going to have to do another color change since this is the end of our our, our rounds or the end of the piece that we're, gonna, we're making so in this last stitch we're just going to do a regular single crochet okay keeping the same color okay now I'm going to replace my uh, then I'm going to take my marker out you should now have a stitch count of 54 stitches all the way around your circle okay and now I'm just going to do a slip stitch in my very first stitch that I made 
to finish off the round and connect it, okay? Okay, so I do want to leave a tail. I snipped off the uh, green one, which is the other color that I was using, and then I do want to leave a tail of this uh, outer color, but I only need to leave a just a smaller tail. I'm going to use it to sew onto my panel, but we're only going to sew like one side of the shell. We're not going to go all the way around it, so that way the shell can lift up, okay? So I don't have to leave a super long tail. Okay, just enough to sew in that one, sew on that one side. Okay, well, I did do a slip stitch uh, to join, so all I have to do now is just pull my yarn through to fasten it off. Okay, okay, so we are finished with the snail's shell, and now we can go on to the snail's body. Okay, going on to the next part of our snail, we are now going to make the snail's body. And so I'm taking my yarn that I'm going to be using for the body. And I'm going to start with the magic circle. And as always, you can chain two and then work in the second chain from the hook. But I'm going to use a magic circle or magic ring. And I'm going to do make six single crochets into the magic ring. One two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and now I'm going to pull the starting tail just to cinch up my circle or my ring. Okay, now I have, so in this first round we have six single crochets, okay? Going on to round two, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So going, and we're not joining rounds, so we're going to go right back, right into that first stitch, and we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. And then we're going to put our stitch marker in the first stitch of those two that we just made. And going around the circle here, continuing on, we're going to do two single crochets in each of the remaining stitches around. And I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, I'm back to the marker, and that is the end of round two. At the end of round two, you will have 12 stitches all the way around your circle, taking my marker out. Going on to round three, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. So going right into the first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. Putting a marker back into the first stitch of those two that we just made. Okay, and then going around, I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat that sequence. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay, I've got back to the marker. We now have 18 stitches all the way around our circle. Going on to round four, we're going to take our marker out and then we're gonna go right into the first stitch and do two single crochets, one and two. And then we're gonna take our marker and put it back into the first stitch of those two that we just made. And going on, we're going to do one single crochet each in the next two stitches. So one and two. Okay. And then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two. One single crochet each in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay. Repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay, I'm back to the marker again. We now have a total of 24 stitches around our circle. Going on to the, la the next round, I'm going to take my marker out and going right into the first stitch, I'm going to make two single crochets, one and two. Put my marker back into the first of those two stitches that we just made. And then going on, I'm going to do one single crochet each in the next three stitches, one, two and three okay and now repeating that sequence we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch one and two and then one single crochet each in the next three stitches so one two three okay repeat that sequence all the way around and i will meet you when we get back to the marker okay so i've got all the way around the marker 
and I mean I'm back to the marker again <laughs> and that is the end of round five and at the end of round five you should have 30 stitches all the way around your circle okay and then that is the end of the increase rounds we're just going to do a partial round in the next uh, stitch to in this next round to finish off so in round six I'm going to take my marker out and then in round six we're just going to do uh, we're just going to be working in the first eight stitches of this round and in each stitch we're going to do five double crochets okay so going right into the first stitch I'm going to do five double crochets one two three four and five okay and so we're gonna do that seven more times in the next seven stitches okay um, you're gonna do five double crochets in each of those next seven stitches and then we're going to uh, that will be the end of this round okay so that will be a total of 40 double crochets that you're going to be making okay okay so I just completed my 40 double crochets which was five double crochets each in the next in those uh, eight stitches eight first the first eight stitches in round six and so now I'm just going to fasten off by putting a slip stitch into the very next stitch on my round just a slip stitch and I am going to need some yarn to uh, sew this onto the center of my panel and so I want to make sure that I have a long tail for that okay and since I did a slip stitch I can just pull my yarn all the way through to fasten off just tighten that down okay and now I am ready to oh and so now I am ready <laughs> I almost forgot we have to put the little eyes on here stitch on little face okay so I'm gonna take my uh, black yarn and my yarn needle I'm thinking that this black yarn might be a little bit too thick now this is sport, some sport weight yarn that I have that's black but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, divide this see what I'm doing I'm dividing it in half um, there and so that way you know I, I in other words I took just uh, half the strands of the black uh, to make it skinnier okay or finer <laughs> and now I'm going to um, yarn my needle with that okay okay and just I'm just going to refer to the picture in the pattern as far as where to uh, stitch on an, uh, an eye or two eyes rather <laughs> um, looks like it is starting between rows two and three so one two right about here and I'm just going to make a few stitches here to make an eye maybe three stitches okay and then um, just looking at referring to the picture it looks like she skipped over about two or three stitches and then made the second eye so let's see I think I'm gonna skip over two stitches and then I'm gonna do just uh, stitch on the second eye the same way Okay, and now uh, on hers, she doesn't have a mouth 
for the snail, but if you want to make it a more friendly snail, you can always put a little smile on there. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to put a little smile on there, just following the stitches around there at the bottom between round one and two. Okay. There. A little bit crooked. Let me add a little bit on this side. <laughs> Okay, that looks pretty good. There, so now he has a cute little smile, a little lopsided smile, but I think that that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to tie my the black yarn, the two ends together, the beginning tail and the, end, and the ending tail, um, and just tie it in a knot. You're not going to see this back side because it's going to be stitched onto the panel. So I'm working black on black. It's going to be hard, harder for you to see that, but it's just stitching on the eyes so and the mouth. <laughs> Trim it short. Okay, so there is our little snail body. Uh, now I'm going to weave in this beginning tail here where the magic circle was, and then I'm going to use this end to sew my bo the body onto our, our panel here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, center my little snail on there and since this, these ruffles here I think what I'm going to do is is not worry about sewing them down so actually I just want to go around the circle part of the body uh, just stitching through uh, the thickness of the body of the snail and the back of the panel here just like that and you can just use your thumb to hold down the uh, the snail uh, centered on the panel or you could use some pins if you prefer and pin on the body to hold it in place while you're doing the sewing but you're just doing you're just going to go in and out all the way all the way around the body and then when I get to where these ruffles are at the bottom of the body I'll probably just pull these forward like this and then sew down sew down that body the body piece and just leave the, the ruffled, ruffled part of the body uh, free, okay, like that. So let me sew this on and then I will meet you when I get, uh, get that done, okay, meet you back. Okay, so I got the snail's body sewed onto the panel, okay, and now I'm going to take the shell. I went ahead and weaved in the uh, my green color, the one that I'm not going to be using to sew on the uh, sew the shell on. I went ahead and weaved it in in the back because it, since this is not going to be sewed down all the way completely, uh, I wanted the back to look uh, pretty good. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and yarn up my needle with the tail of the shell here to sew this on. And then I'm going to place the shell over the top of my snail, okay, to try to figure out the placement where I'm wanting it to, uh, because you want it to cover up the snail, the door. And so I'm um, making sure that I've got it where I want it to be connected. Okay, so then open up and you can see the little snail. And remember, you're going to use some uh, Velcro, a little Velcro closure or snap or something or whatever you want to use uh, for your closure. And so you're ne going to need room on this side if you're going to do it where you're connecting the shell on the... Um, Whichever side you're going to connect the shell onto, uh, the opposite side where you're going to open it, you want to have room to put that little Velcro connector or whatever you're going to use to fasten the shell down. Okay? Okay, so I think that's about where I want to put it. So I'm just going to pinch that side to hold it closed. You can always uh, pin it down. It's fine. 
but I'm just going to stitch on this one flat side, okay, as my hinge to the shell, and then the rest of the shell I'm going to leave free. So you just do in and out down that one side. You can get it about halfway done and then check it to make sure your placement is still where you're wanting it. Okay. And then finish up that, just that one section there. It's going to be like the door hinge. <laughs> okay. check it to make sure that's where you're going to want it. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to fasten off the back here and then like I said, I am not going to put my velcro closure on right at this moment. You would be you would put it like on this side, on one side and then it it's it's mate to the the side of the shell, okay? But I'm going to wait because I'm thinking that it may stretch some once I get it stuffed just like I did the carrot piece with the lettuce leaves. And so I will apply my fastener when I once I get the ball put together and stuffed so that way I know that the fastener is going to be in the right place okay so that is all of this for this panel I hope you enjoyed this one I think it I think he's cute <laughs> I really like the little smile I put on him <laughs> okay so that is the end of the tutorial guys I um, hope you're enjoying following along with this tutorial series and I will be back as soon as I can for the next piece. I am in the middle of kind of remodeling my craft room at the moment, so, um, but I wanted to jump on here and get another one of these uh, installments made for this uh, baby educational ball. So thanks guys for watching. Have a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.